Promise President Trump met today with the Congressional Black Caucus, but the big question still hanging is, is the bill to overall health care going to fly or will it die? Republicans Obamacare replacement bill set to come up for a House vote tomorrow and not all Republicans are on board. Could be enough to sink the bill. Blaine Alexander has the latest tonight from Washington. Blaine. Well, Devin, right now for Republicans, this is a numbers game. So now the question, do they have the numbers they need to pass this bill? Thank you very much. For the president and his party, time is winding down. Big vote tomorrow. And stakes are going up. GOP leaders scrambling to get votes to pass their Obamacare replacement bill. Today, the White House on double duty. The president meeting with Republican lawmakers and women in health care. And the vice president meeting with members of the Freedom Caucus, some of the most vocal conservative holdouts. What does it say if the president can't get this done? Oh, I think we'll get it done. The question is when we get it done. The House leadership has to acknowledge they don't have the votes and bring the vote down. White House officials insist their efforts are working. They've been flooding the Hill. Uh, they've been on the phone and having meetings with them. There's been a series of members up here all day. I think the trajectory is, is going very well for us. On the House floor. It's a bad deal for working men and women across our country. And outside the Capitol, Democrats defended Obamacare. Protect our care. Seven years after President Obama signed the reforms into law, former Vice President Joe Biden fighting its replacement. I ain't going anywhere. This is not going to pass. Now the focus over the next 24 hours, changing a handful of Republican minds. Now keep in mind the House Speaker can delay tomorrow's vote if it looks like they don't have enough support to pass the bill. In Washington, Blaine Alexander, Local 4. All right, Blaine, and ahead here at 6, we will hear from Governor Snyder on why he's been urging members of Congress to vote no on the Trump health care bill.